Hey everyone and uh, welcome to the first YouTube video for Tool Tats. Um, so basically my idea is that uh, I've been watching quite a few of the, the tool review channels on YouTube. Um, big fan of uh, the, uh, the Junkie, just in the Junkie and the Snap-on Tool review. Um, but everything's so Americanized. Uh, <laughs> there's no no one really talking about uh, about what's going on in the UK. Um, obviously, we we're not as spoiled as uh, as the Americans and Canadians uh, brothers over there, brothers and sisters over there. Um, so we uh, well, I wanted to to start a, a channel up, um, talk about tools that are available in the UK. Normally, they uh, become available a little bit after. Uh, um, the states, for example, with Snap-on and Mac, etc. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about the the second-hand uh, tool trade uh, market in the UK. I do buy a lot of second-hand uh, high-value tools, um, and uh, yeah, hopefully my skills in getting making the videos will get better. Um, uh, I've bought a tripod uh, that's due to come tomorrow, I believe. Um, so hopefully you won't get the, the shaking uh, as much and um, yeah basically I just want to make content that people find useful enjoyable uh, and have a little bit of fun along the way um, I hope you can subscribe and, and share the channel as well uh, we'll grow it you let me know what you want to see and uh, I'll do my best uh, to, uh, to to fulfill that, uh, that, that ask um, I thought for the first video that i do something on flashlights everyone sort of launches in with toolbox reviews and uh talking about spanners or wrenches as you call them in the us um or ratchets or power tools but torches there's something that we go for and we, i don't i think we neglect quite quite a lot of the time um uh or flashlights uh obviously working uh on dirty machinery or um you know obviously UV light from or the the light strip lights in in the workshop cast shadows etc. Um, <clears throat> so I think it's kind of kind of something that that doesn't get as much talk as it should. Uh, I have a selection. I actually bought two new uh, coast lights today. Um, I think I've got a bargain with those. I'll I'll talk about those last. But um, but yeah. So currently this is. Uh, the range of uh, flashlights that I own um, uh, so I'll get right into it I have no idea how I'm going to be able to do this with one hand um, but I'm going to do my best you have to just uh, forgive me um, okay so this flashlight I actually bought from Costco um, it's a it's a snap-on uh, flashlight it has does have a magnetic base um, six on the toolbox um, and uh, it takes, I believe, four AAA batteries. The battery life's pretty good on it. Um, it's robust. I've had this probably about five years. Um, it's held up pretty well. Uh, it's yeah. When I go racing, I kind of throw it in the back of the van just in case I need to ch do a wheel change or something. Um, becomes very uh, very handy. It has this uh, this ratchet in head that that. Um, I've had cheap flashlights in the past and they've kind of gone all floppy and the, the, the detent has gone. Um, but yeah, it's uh, a click on, click for on. Um, it's, uh, it's certainly certainly bright. Uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go and, I'll go and switch the light off in the, in the workshop so you can see what kind of a um, an impact we're having. So, yeah, it's... Um, it is what it is. I think it's just a bog standard LED flashlight. So the beauty with this thing and is um, uh, it has a, a pull out section, kind of like a lightsaber, um, like so, um, which I think is great for, say, if you're working on a, a wheel or something in the middle of the night, um, you can dump it over the, on, or put it on the wheel arch and it illuminates. So if you've got to change a, a, a wheel at the side of the road or do something, or working under the hood um yeah it's uh it's pretty good the only the only thing which i don't like about it is the fact that as soon as you pull it out this turns on you can't turn it off you can have 
the flashlight and the main light on at the same time but yeah this you can't really see it but this this perspex is sort of scratched up and i think a bit of brake fluid or whatever's got on there over the years and it's starting to sort of discolor so yeah we uh i'll be interested to see how long this lasts but it's uh, it's decent the batteries last well it's not rechargeable which is a bit of a downside um so yeah um tell you what i'm going to give them a rating i'm going to rate them uh one to ten so for this i'm going to give it a, a six um i think it's an all good round uh flashlight and and work torch um the reason it didn't score higher is the fact that you can't turn that strip off it it, do, it can glare um you might just want to knock it off and switch it back on but you've got to pull it in and pull it out uh, uh, push it back in and pull it back out again and the fact that it, it would be better if it was rechargeable obviously you can buy rechargeable batteries but then you've got to plug them in and and uh and remember to, to charge them up etc um yeah i mean i think i think it could be could be made a little bit better or just a little charging port on there or whatever um i think these are just a licensed product i don't think they were made by snap on they're probably chinese that's why they were in um costco i do have a um a, a head torch with a similar design but it's on my uh, helmet at work so yeah um uh, six out of ten for that so this little fella is like a, a puck light um i believe it's similar to the bigger version which kind of mounted on uh on a a, a frame uh that was uh, like telescopic so you could mount it on car hoods now I work on dirt bikes, that's it. So <clears throat> I don't have really any automotive tools, um, but this thing is phenomenal. Um, it There's videos all over YouTube of people driving over them in trucks and lorries and cars and dropping them in water and doing all sorts of crazy stuff to them and they seem to be indestructible. Um, it's a, a, a cast aluminium uh, body. Um, it's powder coated. My mine has a, a bit of a uh, an imperfection in the powder coating. Uh, it hasn't caused a problem, but I'd be interested just to see if it uh, starts flaking there in in uh, as time goes on. I've had it about six months or so. Um, so yeah, uh, basically, um, you switch it on, gives you an indication of how much battery life you've got left. You need to charge it up. It is rechargeable. Uh, more on that in a second. It's magnetic, so it, it sticks to the, the workbox um, uh, or, or workspace. And it's got this rubber boot on, uh, obviously to, to protect it from impacts. It has a, a swivel base, so you can angle it as required. So yeah, it's it's decent. I'll, um, I'll pop and excuse the rag on the floor. I've been cleaning up some oil. Apologies. Um, I must clean the floor this weekend. Um, so yeah, this thing is, gives a, a huge amount of light. Um, it's not concentrated. It kind of spreads out. It's a good white light, I would say. Um, <clears throat> and I think it is probably my go-to if I want to illuminate a work area. The only downside that I have about this thing is the fact that the charging port, I think it is USB-C, they call it now or something like that. So it's completely different to all of the other, um, or uh, the other two snap-on uh, uh, chargers which I have. Um, in fact, I don't think this one has a, a normal micro USB. But um, yeah, other than that, it's um, it's a, a fantastic uh, fantastic torch. I'm going to score it a 9 out of 10. Uh, the only reason it loses the point is from that uh, USB-C. I understand that this will probably be something that a lot of torches are going to change over to over the years. But um, yeah, I think um, uh, it's quality, uh, it's built robustly and you, you, you've got to get one. They're about 70 quid or something uh, plus VAT from the Snap-on van. Um, yeah, well worth a buy. So the next one, next torch is a non-snap-on torch. It's an LED Lenser L7. I bought this from, I think it was from some small hardware store somewhere. It has like a, a polycarbonate body. Uh, it's non-rechargeable. Uh, it has a, a focus 
uh, uh, option to it so you can twist the focus. Um, I think it takes three AAA batteries. It's extremely light and it gives a, a good a good spread. Obviously, uh, it, it is pretty focused with it being um, with it being a, a circular sort of flashlight rather than work light. But yeah, um, it's a quality bit of kit. It's extremely light. Um, it uh, it's taken a few falls and it's robust. Uh, for what it is, uh, it's great if you want to walk the dog or just care, carry it with you when you when you're out and about. Um, I think it's great. Uh, as I've said, it's got a bit of a crack um, from uh, from a, a tumble, but it's not stopped it working. Um, I could probably put a little bit of glue in that, but uh, yeah, I think it was about thirty pounds or something. Um, marks out of ten. I give it a, a seven. Um, it is what it is. It's um, it's not going to set the world on fire, but it serves a, a purpose. So yeah, that's the LED Lenser uh, L7. Next, uh, we will go with this Coast Pen Light. So this is from Snap On, uh, from from the Snap On truck. Uh, I had much higher expectations of this little unit um it charges by yeah it doesn't have a, a micro usb apologies charges by shoving the the end into its uh into its little sheath um for want of a better word and that's how it uh that's how it charges up it is st stainless steel so that's run out of battery actually uh, it becomes, if it gets oily, it becomes very slippy. It's going to fall on the floor. It's light. It is, it is, it does have a, a decent uh, amount of light to it. it you know, if you're getting into to some intricate jobs, this little uh, pl green plastic bit illuminates green as well. Sorry, it's not uh, charged up complete failure on the, uh, on the first video there. Um, but yeah, for I think this was fifty five pounds from the Snap On van uh, on on a on a flyer. I wouldn't buy another one. Um, I think that there are better better torches out there for the money uh, that you can just pop in your pocket. So I'm going to give this one a, a four. Uh, the only reason I'm giving it a four is because I think it's poor value for money and. I don't like stainless steel. I've got two stainless steel torches. I should have learnt my lesson. They just become too slippy. Uh, dirt bikes again, when you're working on engines, doing a cam chain or whatever, uh, your hands do get extremely oily. Obviously you wear gloves and it just it's just a, a, a nightmare. Um, so yeah, okay, that's the, uh, the Snap-on Coast pen light. The next little fella that I've got was uh, out of a bargain bin in Home uh, Home Base, which is kind of a, a, a generic DIY chain uh, in the UK. It doesn't sell really many hand tools. Out of Home Base and B&Q, I think it's probably got the best selection of hand tools, but this was in a bargain bin for, um, uh, I think it was £1.99. And it's great. It's got like a little clip on the back. Um, it's tumbled. It's taken a a few a few knocks it's got uh, an led on the end so you can shine it in little intricate areas it's non-rechargeable it takes two triple a's and it's got um a, a little cluster of, of led lights there um yeah it's not the brightest but if you want to get in somewhere and and work on something it's uh it, it serves a it serves a purpose you know as i keep saying it um, I have bought a, 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 the the little magnet dropped out the base. I have bought some replacements from from Amazon. I'm going to try and do this with one one hand. Um, that I I must get uh, some time to to glue in. But yeah, they I found some little magnets on Amazon that will go in there. I'll glue it in, and it'll be good as new again. Uh, I use this a lot. I use it more than this thing. So that uh, that should tell you that should tell you something. This is um, something which I love to hit. Uh, I bought this when they were last on the flyer in the UK before Christmas. I think it was 125 plus VAT. 
So that works out about 150 quid. It is rechargeable. It has like a, a, a charging port. Um, I'm gonna try and open it. It's stiff, sorry. Oh, this is where I need a tripod, everyone. Um, yeah, so you can charge it up when the battery pack is in the torch, which is great. Um, it's bright, I'll show you in a moment. Uh, you can focus it and you can lock the lock the focus by moving it backwards and for, forwards. Oh, sorry. You move it backwards and forwards to focus it and you, then you, you can lock it in. Uh, uh, you lock it in position. So yeah, um, it's good. It, it came with a spare rechargeable unit which again you can charge when it's out of the torch which i think is a great um a, a great feature so you can be using the torch and charging another one up on your micro usb at the same time and it also came with a bank to put three triple a's in it came with the triple a's as well so you can keep this as a reserve um what don't i like about it it's fucking stainless steel. So it is. it has got a good heft to it. It's got a good weight to it. It is heavy. Your hands get oily. It's going on the floor. It's going to dent really easily. So it's it's dented um, uh, here. Um, and it's got a couple of scores and scratches around the, the, the head there. Um, so that is a, a downside. Also, the cost, it's fucking expensive for what it is. But it... It lights up well, it has a good throw, it has a good beam. Um, I think in terms of comparison, it's kind of similar to the LED lens of P7 in terms of performance. It does have a, a little bit of a wider throw, but um, uh, yeah, the, the, the advantage of it over the P7 obviously is the fact that it comes with rechargeable uh, little battery banks and um it's uh it's got a, a bit of decent weight to it which is uh as its benefits and drawbacks as well so i'm going to score this one uh eight it could be a 10 if they reduce the price a little bit because it's got snap on written on i bet you can get it in uh, a standard cost version for probably 80 pounds including vat i haven't looked i don't want to look um the other point it could get back is if it wasn't fucking stainless steel. Um, it, if it was rubberized or something, I would much prefer it. Um, the next torch then uh, is just a bit really basic uh, torch. It, it, I kind of keep it in my pocket all the time. It's one of these little LED generic cluster torches. I got it free from work from one of our suppliers. Um, it's got a decent little light on it. It takes three triple A's, it's non-rechargeable. It's always there when I need it. The, it doesn't wear down when you're not using it. And it's robust, it's taken a knock, it's been submerged and it keeps going. So I think you can find these kind of online for uh, you know a couple of pounds, Amazon, etc. The reason I've put it in this video is I think it's important. You know, there's a lot of a lot of young guys out there, and they see me with this this thing, which is like 150 quid. Don't buy a 150 pound torch, guys. You don't need it. Um, <clears throat> use the money to invest in tools that are going to earn you money. A decent torch is is a must, but if you're just starting out, buy one of these for for three quid and uh, buy yourself a, a couple of beers. And spend the under other hundred quid on on a decent set of uh, spanners or a ratchet or something. Um, it's not the be all and end all. That's why I, I popped it in there. It can it can compare uh, against some of the the other smaller torches. Certainly, guys, I would prefer to use it instead of that thing. So don't be bamboozled by the brand uh, or the cost of something. Um, it's often a false economy. So. Um, the two post lights which I've bought today. So the story behind these goes, my wife was in uh, for a minor operation at hospital this morning on the way back. Um, we I, I took her for something to eat uh, to cheer her up a little bit and it was a little, um, like a, a little uh, tea rooms as we call them in the UK. And on the side was kind of a, um, 
uh, it, it's a lumber yard that sold fences and sheds and things like that and it had a really small little island ironmongery uh, and I couldn't believe it when I went in there and there was a, a coarse torch display it had been well um, uh, depleted but it had these two beauties and I think these were a good price the shop itself was gen generally an expensive shop but this uh, which is the HX5 was £17.50 130 lumens uh, and the G19 inspection LED torch um, 20 meter distance it doesn't give a lumen rating on here uh, I'll have a little look on the back when we when we open it up it was £9.85 so under a tenner so yeah you know apprentices out there what do you want to do I know what I'd do definitely buy two of these fuck snap on and get some second hand ratchets or something from eBay um, that's one thing that I want to do. Obviously, this is my first video. Um, I'm not going to edit it. it is, it's going to be raw. Um, if if it uh, if it takes off and you know people want to see more, then I'll look at, at spending some some real time in terms of editing, etc. Um, but I want to talk about apprentices as well because and, and young people. You know, we we can you know all all the guys we've you know married. We've got a house, children. Um, you know, they're starting to grow up, etc. Money's not everywhere, but we do generally have a bit more of a disposable income than some of the young guys who are going to be watching these channels. So I think we should encourage them uh, not to be sort of baffled in lights by the shiny snap-on tool van or, or other coming around to their work and, and getting into debt. I, I want to, I want, really want to uh, mention them in every video that I do about giving really great alternatives um, to, uh, to, to, you know, what getting into to debt or spending a lot of money you can do that 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 time will come you can have the massive toolbox and all of the snap-on gear when you're older but right now make the money set your life up and then and then start treating yourself so that's something i, I want to do so apprentices if and, and young people budding mechanics young budding garage mechanics out there if you want to say anything or want some advice you know hit me up send me a message write in the comments and i'll, I'll do my best to support that <clears throat> so the hx5 i haven't even had out this out of the packet yet um it is uh 130 lumens uh it changes with the with the battery type which is uh interesting uh yeah if you put a lithium iron battery in it goes to 345 lumens but only lasts 45 minutes but alkaline which it's supplied with um it lasts three hours, 45 minutes. So I know what I'm going to be leaving in there. Um, uh, the beam then, if you like, uh, is 2.4 meters and uh, it can be seen 79 meters away. So yeah, it's it's decent. Um, clip can be used from either direction, what a gimmick. So <clears throat> let's have a little, a little look at this thing. So, um, it's a it's a nice weight. It's a it's a good weight. It's got a little hole for a lanyard. I like having the lanyards in torches. Um, it isn't supplied with one, as far as I can see. Um, it's got the clip, which could be used from both ways, which is good, I suppose. A little rubberized on-off switch, um, and twist to focus. So this takes one double A uh, battery. <coughs> Let's have a little a little look at what the beam's like. So here we are. Fucking hell, that's brilliant. <clears throat> Under twenty quid. That's that's uh, that's impressive. That that has uh, yeah, that's been my day. That's that's a, what a fantastic little torch. Uh, I aren't going to rate this one yet. Um, maybe I'll do a bit of an update after using it for for a little while and see how it holds up. Um, that's another thing as well. I, I I like the way that the the lenses are recessed. So if you get brake cleaner on them or whatever, or it prevents them from being scratched when you're putting them down or dropping them or whatever, <coughs> or shoving them into to an engine bay or something like that. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll look to review these. Uh, it, maybe it's in more depth if people are interested, uh, or give them a, a rating out of ten on a on a short video. So moving on to the G19, uh, it has an inspection beam, 
it lasts for two hours and 30 minutes it takes one triple air um, 20 meters um, one meter fall resistant um, I didn't give a fall resistant uh, rating on the on the other torch um, I haven't put the packet yes I have I've opened the packet properly um, so I'm hoping this is just as good as the other torch so the G19 has a one way clip come on cost you can do better um, it doesn't have a recess for a lanyard which isn't too much of a problem um, you know it's only under a tenner let's uh, aluminium body it's feels good quality it's knurled so you can grip unlike that fucking stainless steel snap on thing let's have a look at the how bright fuck me that is great so um i think i know although we haven't seen it the the coast snap on light it's very similar to the to the uh um beam which is thrown <clears throat> thrown from that unit um even though this is a little chunkier i think this may be my new go-to torch but again i'm not going to rate it yet let me use it for a little while and um if you're interested we can we can come back to it and and uh, do a little bit of an in-depth review so thanks very much guys like and subscribe share the page let me know what you want to see and uh i'll hit you guys up um thanks very much and goodbye from the UK.